It has been a day of pageantry and remembrances for Queen Elizabeth II. She is now lying in rest in Edinburgh, Scotland. We have a live look for you now inside St. Giles Cathedral. Four o'clock in the morning there, mourners walking past the Queen's coffin. A week of service, prayer and reflection began today as the United Kingdom says goodbye to its longest serving monarch. And a somber moment as the Queen's children stood silently holding vigil by their mother's side. CBS 2's Christine Johnson is in Windsor, England. The period of mourning continues here with the Queen lying in rest in Edinburgh, Scotland. Her coffin was moved today to St. Giles Cathedral. And as the King mourns with his family by his side, he is already stepping into his new role. King Charles and his three siblings stood guard at their mother's coffin at St. Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh, Scotland, in a ceremony known as the Vigil of Princes. The new monarch acknowledged his mother's deep connection to Scotland in his first address to the Scottish Parliament as King. In a solemn procession, the King, Anne, the Princess Royal, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward walked behind the hearse carrying the Queen's coffin as thousands lined the streets to pay their respects. The new King also took time to personally thank well-wishers. I think it's all very emotional, the fact that he's out so close to his mum's death. Earlier in the day in London, King Charles addressed the British Parliament for the first time as King, vowing to continue in his mother's footsteps. She set an example of selfless duty, which, with God's help and your counsels, I am resolved faithfully to follow. Also today, Prince Harry released his first public statement on the Queen's death, calling his granny a guiding compass for the nation. Back here in Windsor, there are just too many flowers and cards to count that were left for the Queen, and Castle staff are just having a hard time keeping up with the sheer volume of it all. Each day, they move the massive amounts of tributes inside the castle gates and then line the drive with them. On Monday, the Queen's coffin will pass through them as it makes its way to her final resting place. Now, tomorrow, Maurice, we will all move to London as the Queen's coffin arrives there tomorrow evening. For now, that is the latest from Windsor. Back to you. Okay, Christine, and stay with CBS 2 and CBS News New York for complete coverage of the death of Queen Elizabeth. You can find a look back at her life and how she's being remembered. It's all there for you at CBSNewYork.com.